I had a fire nine days ago. My archive, 175 films, my 16 millimeter negative, all my books, my dad's books, my photographs. I had collected, I was a collector, major, big time. It's gone. I just looked at it. And I didn't know what to do. I mean, this was, was I my things? I always live in the present. I love the present. I cherish the future. And I was taught some strange thing as a kid, like you got to make something good out of something bad. You got to make something good out of something bad. And this was bad, man. I was, I, I cough. I was sick. That's my camera lens. The first one, the one I shot my Bob Dylan film with 35 years ago. That's my feature film, King Murray, won Cannes Film Festival in 1970, the only print I had. That's my papers. That was in minutes, 20 minutes. Epiphany hit me, something hit me. You gotta make something good out of something bad. I started to say to my friends, neighbors, my sister, by the way, that's Sputnik, I ran it last year. Sputnik was downtown, the negative, it wasn't touched. These are some pieces of things I used in my Sputnik feature film, which opens in New York in two weeks uh, at downtown. I called my sister, I called my neighbors, they said, come dig. That's me at my desk. Uh, I was a desk, took 40 years to build, you know, all the stuff. That's my daughter, Jean. She came, she's a nurse in San Francisco. Dig it up, I said, pieces. I want pieces, bits and pieces. I came up with this idea, a life of bits and pieces, which I'm just starting to work on. My next project, that's my sister. She took care of pictures, because I was a big collector of just snapshot photography that I believed said a lot, and those are some of the pictures that Something was good about the burned pictures. I didn't know. I looked at that. I said, wow, is that better than the... That's my proposal on Jimmy Doolittle. I made that movie for television. It's the only copy I had. Pieces of it. Idea about women. So I started to say, hey, man, you are too much. You could cry about this. I really didn't. I instead said, I'm going to make something out of it. And maybe next year... And I appreciate this moment to come up on this stage with so many people who've already given me so much solace and just say to Ted Sturz, I'm proud of me that I take something bad, I turn it, and I'm going to make something good out of this. All these pieces, that's Arthur Leipzig's original photograph I loved. I was a big record collector. The records didn't make it. Boy, I'll tell you, film burns. <laughs> film burns. I mean, this was 16 millimeter safety film. Uh, the negatives are gone. Uh, that was my father's letter to me telling me to uh, marry the woman I first married when I was 20. Um, it's my daughter and me. Uh, she's still there. She's there this morning, actually. That's my house. My family is living in the Hilton Hotel in Scotts Valley. That's my wife, Heidi, who didn't take it as well as I did. My children, Davy and Henry. My son, Davy, in the hotel two nights ago. So my message to you folks for my three minutes is that I appreciate the chance to share this with you. I will be back. I love being at TED. I came to live it, and I am living it. That's my view from my window outside of Santa Cruz in Bonnie Dune, just 35 miles from here. Thank you, everybody. They have names like Idle Time Books and Panther Coffee with free enterprise puns like Hue and Cry and Smash Records. And one Saturday a year, small businesses remind a nation of the benefits of shopping small, like the way David Kaplan at Shell Lumber shows you how to use a chop saw, then invites you back when the warehouse becomes the community theater, or the way Camille Rustler of Ever After travels the journey from despair to bliss with every bride-to-be. Absolutely stunning. On just one day, 100 million of us joined a movement, and Main Street found its might again, and Main Street found its fight again, and we, the locals, found delight again. That's the power of all of us. That's the power of all That's of us. That's the power of all of us. That's the membership effect of American Express. 